This place should be the Wind Lightning Mountain Range. Where the Wind Lightning Pavilion Eastern Pavilion is located. Looks like I'm not late. Xiao Yan found a deserted spot on the mountain peak and landed on the ground. After which, he headed to the foot of the mountain. He helplessly shook his head when he saw the densely packed human flow outside of the Wind Lightning Mountain Range. It was likely that these people were all here because of the Four Pavilion Grand Meeting. I wonder if the Four Pavilion Grand Meeting has begun. Xiao Yan muttered softly to himself before he suddenly took out a thin transparent skin-like item from his storage ring. After which, he covered it over his face. Almost instantly, some changes occurred on the contours of his face. If one did not look carefully, it would likely be difficult for one to recognize him. This item, that could slightly alter one's appearance, was a little thing the little fairy doctor had given him when they headed to the Chu Yun Empire back then. It was unexpected that it would still be of use after so many years had passed. He was hiding his appearance in order to save himself some trouble. Currently, everyone was aware of his enmity with the Wind Lightning Pavilion. If he were to openly appear in this place, it was likely that the Wind Lightning Pavilion would not simply stand idly by the side. There were many experts within the Eastern Pavilion. Moreover, the Wind Lightning Pavilion's chief resided here. Even though Xiao Yan had broken through to the Dozong class, he could only choose to avoid a head-on confrontation when meeting with an expert of this level. The reason he had come to the Wind Lightning Mountain Range was to search for Feng Zun Jie. Unless he had no choice, he did not wish to expose himself. After all, he would place himself in a dangerous position if that occurred. Therefore, hiding his appearance was indeed necessary. Xiao Yan rubbed his face after having altered his appearance. After which, he walked out of the dense forest, joined the human flow on the main road that led into the mountain range, and moved toward the wind lightning mountain range. The various noises within the noisy human flow, which Xiao Yan had joined, caused his ears to feel a ringing sensation. However, Xiao Yan could only laugh as he forcefully endured it. Damn it, there are too many people. Can the eastern pavilion accommodate so many people? The grand meeting is about to begin today. Naturally, there will be a lot of people. It is rumored that the people from the four pavilions have already arrived. The final victor in the last competition was the Wind Lightning Pavilion. I wonder just who will be the victor this time around. It is difficult to say. Feng Ching Er, Tang Ying, Wang Chen, and that Mu Ching Luan are no ordinary people. It is rumored that these four entered the Heaven Eye Mountain Range's Heaven Mountain Blood Pool some time ago. Their strength will definitely have improved. He he, I wonder if any one of them borrowed the strength of the blood pool to break through the Dohuang class? These four people have the strength at the peak of the Dohuang class. Adding their tactics, they are even able to exchange blows with some expert Dozongs. Whoever is able to break through during this period of time will definitely win. Who knows? There are an unknown number of talented individuals in the Central Plains. There are always some dark horses appearing in each of the four pavilion grand meetings. I wonder just who will appear this time around. The dark horse hum. Naturally, it is that young man called Xiao Yan, who has stirred an uproar within the northern region recently. Even the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion's chief returned empty-handed after personally chasing him. One can just imagine how terrifyingly strong he is. Qi. Xiao Yan might be strong, but this place in the headquarters of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Do you think that he dares to come here? Xiao Yan was involuntarily startled when he heard the conversation around him eventually talking about him. His hands could not help, but rub his face. It was unexpected that he possessed such a reputation in this northern region. However, this was not what he wanted. If his name were to spread to the ears of the Hall of Souls, it was likely that things would become even more troublesome. Xiao Yan successfully entered through the entrance of the mountain range amid a terrible noise. There were disciples from the Wind Lightning Pavilion maintaining order around the entrance. Other than some special guests, ordinary people were not allowed to fly in the air above the Wind Lightning Mountain Range. This had resulted in Xiao Yan, who did not wish to expose his identity, being forced to walk in. Upon entering the mountain range, Xiao Yan swiftly separated himself from most of the human flow. After which, he turned to a deserted forest, increased his speed, and swiftly rushed to the interior of the mountain range. From the information that he had heard earlier, today should be the start of the Four Pavilion Grand Meeting. 
Moreover, the thing that excited Xiao Yan most was that the people from the four pavilions had arrived, which meant Feng Zunjie should have arrived. If I really meet Feng Zunjie, it is best to observe him quietly before making contact with him. Although teacher has said that I can trust him completely, it is always best to be careful. Xiao Yan's figure transformed into a blurry one that shuffled through the mountain range while this thought lingered in his heart. The heavy burden of rescuing Yao Lao and his father were things that Xiao Yan needed to complete. Hence, he needed to ensure his safety. It was best to be cautious about any uncertain factors. The Wind Lightning mountain range was extremely vast. Even with Xiao Yan's speed, he still spent nearly half an hour before reaching the middle of the mountain range. There was a magnificent and steep mountain located at that spot, Lightning Mountain. Lightning Mountain was extremely tall. One was unable to see its peak when looking up from its base. The middle portion of the mountain was covered in a dense fog. This fog was a little dark, and it faintly contained lightning flashing within it. Looking from a distance, this mountain peak seemed to be covered by a countless number of bolts of lightning, making it appear extremely majestic. Xiao Yan let out a praise for the towering lightning mountain before moving his body to land somewhere near its base. The top of the lightning mountain was the Wind Lightning Pavilion. The defenses of that place were unusually tight. Perhaps it was due to the Grand Meeting approaching, but the surrounding defenses had also been fortified. There would occasionally be human figures flapping Do Chi wings in the sky. The Lightning Mountain had entered into a tight inspection network. In order to not alert the experts in the Wind Lightning Pavilion, Xiao Yan would naturally not adopt such a brutal break in method. The line at the foot of the mountain might be long but Xiao Yan still possessed a little bit of patience. Xiao Yan advanced along with the group and finally came to a stop when he was about to ascend the mountain. At this moment, there were two rock roads that led up the mountain. One was provided for those people, who had come to watch the grand meeting, while the other was provided for some of the young experts who had come to participate in the grand meeting. There were nearly a hundred armored disciples from the Wind Lightning Pavilion guarding the front of the two rock roads. Their stern expressions brought about some pressure. This resulted in no one daring to cause trouble. Additionally, there were two old people in front of these hundred disciples. One was a male while the other was a female. Xiao Yan's eyes solidified when his gaze swept over these two people because the two of them were the two who had accompanied Feng Qing Er to the Heaven Eye mountain range back then. The strength of these two is quite impressive. I wonder if I will be able to pass through their inspection after having altered my appearance. Xiao Yan slightly frowned. It is unexpected that the participants of this competition are filtered by the Huo Mu elders of the Eastern Pavilion this time around. These two people hold quite a high position within the Wind Lightning Pavilion. The Wind Lightning Pavilion selections have always been harsh. After seeing this today, they do live up to their reputation. Fortunately, I am only here to watch the fun and need to pass through their verification. A group of people in front of Xiao Yan softly conversed while he was frowning. Xiao Yan's heart leapt when he heard this. It seemed that not everyone must be examined by these two people. I think that everyone is aware of the rules of my Wind Lightning Pavilion. Anyone who wishes to participate in the Grand Meeting must first reach the strength of a three-star Do Huang or higher. Secondly, he or she must be less than 30 years old. Third, this person must last over five exchanges in the hands of the old me. Only by meeting these three conditions will one possess the qualification to participate. Of course, if you are only here to watch the fun, you can just climb the mountain using the left stone road. A red-clothed elder Huo explained while everyone was engaged in private conversations. Quite a big commotion was stirred when these words sounded. Just fulfilling one of these three criteria was not an easy matter, much less all three of them, it was really strict. Most of the people chose the road on the left side under such strict criteria. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before following the human flow to the left rock road. His aim was merely to find Feng Zunjie. He was not interested in fighting within the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Some trouble would be unavoidable if he ended up recognized by others. While most people were climbing the rock road on the left side, there were also a couple of young people, who felt that they were quite strong, intending to attempt the right path. However, all of them were swept aside by Elder Huo without exception. These people might have barely met the requirement of a three-star Do Huang, 
but it was clear that they were those that relied on medicinal pills or some natural treasure to support them. Their fighting strengths were similar to that of a two-star Do Huang. The Huo Mu elders did not even raise their eyes when fighting these weak fellows. Xiao Yan by the side also laughed in his heart when he saw this. After which, he increased his speed and stepped onto the rock road on the left. Wait! Xiao Yan's feet had just stepped on the rock road when Elder Huo by the side suddenly turned his head before Xiao Yan could even climb up. Elder Huo frowned as he looked at Xiao Yan. The fist under Xiao Yan's sleeves was tightened when he heard this cry. He turned his head slowly and looked at Elder Huo. Elder Huo's eyes slowly swept over Xiao Yan's face before faintly saying, You seem to have reached the qualification to participate in the competition. Why don't you give it a try? Numerous gazes shot to Xiao Yan when these words sounded. There were many people earlier who had not passed the test. Yet this fellow, who appeared ordinary, possessed such ability. I am not interested in the grand meeting. The reason I have come here is to search for someone. Xiao Yan's voice appeared a little hoarse under his suppression. After saying these words, he ignored Elder Huo, turned around, and climbed to the top of the mountain, leaving behind a group of stunned gazes in the process. This fellow, is too arrogant, no? The old woman beside Elder Huo knit her brows, glanced at Xiao Yan's back, and asked, Is there something wrong with that person? I don't know. I only sense the natural fire affinity energy suddenly fluctuate a little when he stepped onto the stone road. For some unknown reason, this person gives me a kind of inexplicable feeling. Elder Huo knit his brows and bitterly laughed. He sighed, it is most likely just an illusion. The rock road was extremely long. At a glance, it was just like a large meandering snake that followed the mountain range to the top before disappearing in the distant dark clouds. One would feel exceptionally small while walking it. Xiao Yan's footsteps proceeded at a steady pace as he slowly walked to the top of the mountain. Both sides of the mountain road were covered with large silver-colored tree. Such a tree was quite strange. This kind of tree did not have any leaves. Its entire being was just like a straight pillar. The thing that caused Xiao Yan to be surprised was that the interior of this enormous silver-colored tree contained a dense lightning energy. If one used one's spiritual strength to sense it, one would be able to discover a wave of lightning aura at the top of the enormous tree that repeatedly surged out. Finally, it rose into the dark clouds in the sky. Xiao Yan halted his feet as he looked at this scene, falling deep into thought as he did so. The reason the lightning mountain possessed such a frightening wind lightning strength was probably related to these unusual trees. With the silver trees providing a lightning strength, the dark clouds in the sky would never scatter. Thus, one would be able to achieve double the effect with half the effort when practicing a lightning affinity chi method in this place. This wind lightning pavilion really knows how to choose a place. Xiao Yan praised them in his heart. His feet had just moved when the clear cry of a crane suddenly resounded. Everyone immediately looked up to see a beautiful and colorful crane flapping its wings as it flew from the bottom of the mountain all the way to the peak. Seven colored large crane? Could it be that Miss Fung from the Wind Lightning Pavilion is the one on it? The mountain road immediately emitted numerous exclamations and envious noises when they saw the seven colored large crane. Xiao Yan's gaze also paused on that seven colored large crane. He did not take another look at the colorful crane. Instead, his gaze locked onto the graceful figure on the back of the enormous crane. Looking at that familiar back, this lady was indeed Feng Ching Er. The enormous crane did not pause because of the numerous exclamations from the mountain road. With a flap of its enormous wings, it charged into the clouds and quickly disappeared. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew his eyes after the enormous crane disappeared. His brows were involuntarily knit together. There was definitely something on that lady hiding her aura. Otherwise, it would be impossible for Xiao Yan to not be able to see through her strength with his current ability. Looks like this woman is not simple. I have seen the people from the four pavilions. If I really want to compare them, this Feng Ching Er is the most dangerous. Xiao Yan revealed an expression of being deep in thought as he muttered to himself in his heart. Those that he did not know were the most frightening things. Tang Ying, Wang Chen, and Mu Qing Luan might be strong since they possessed their own trump cards that could fight with an expert Dou Zong. However, the three of them did not give Xiao Yan such a dangerous feeling. 
Only this Feng Ching Er caused him to be unable to see through her. If I have guessed correctly, it is likely that the final victor in this four pavilion grand meeting will be this woman. Xiao Yan softly sighed. Although there was no basis for this thinking of his, he vaguely had a feeling that caused him to think in this manner. Perhaps it was due to the Wind Lightning Pavilion, but Xiao Yan did not have a good impression of Feng Qing Er. Although the other party had an outstanding appearance and demeanor, Xiao Yan had a grudge with her right from the start. Hence, his heart felt a little displeased if he were to see her obtain victory in the grand meeting. Xiao Yan curled his mouth and muttered in his heart. After which, he ceased remaining still on this mountain road any longer. He increased his pace. In the end, he transformed into a black line that swiftly rushed to the top of the mountain. Although the lightning mountain was quite tall, Xiao Yan successfully reached the top of the mountain within less than 10 minutes. Xiao Yan had just ascended to the peak when a demon-like noise poured into his ears, causing him to feel a little giddy due to him not being to prepare. When he recovered, his eyes swept around with some lingering fear. He was immediately stunned. All he could see was an unending human sea. Even with Xiao Yan's character, he could not help, but feel somewhat speechless at this moment. He did not expect this four pavilion grand meeting to actually attract such a crazy flow of human traffic. Xiao Yan was stunned for a moment before he sighed in resignation. His body moved and he rushed to an enormous silver-colored tree. At this moment, quite a number of people were also standing in those strange silver trees around. Therefore, Xiao Yan did not attract many eyes. With the help of a good view, Xiao Yan was able to roughly see the peak of the Lightning Mountain. The place they were currently at was a stadium. This stadium's building material was clearly the enormous silver-colored tree that Xiao Yan was currently standing on. Its entirety was bright silver in color and quite glaring. There were some potholes in the stadium. It seemed that this was the place where the disciples of the Wind Lightning Pavilion usually trained. The most eye-catching part of the entire peak of the Lightning Mountain was an enormous silver-colored tower. This tower was at least three to four hundred feet in height, appearing extremely majestic. A lightning glow flickered around the tower while the peak of it was inserted into the cloud layer, giving it an extremely mysterious feeling. There were many buildings on the top of the mountain, likely the quarters of the Wind Lightning Pavilion's disciples. Xiao Yan merely swept his gaze around this places before pausing it on the front of the enormous silver-colored stadium. There were some silver wooden chairs placed at a spot with an extremely good view. Quite a number of stern-looking Wind Lightning Pavilion disciples were standing in front of those seats. Looking at the aura that faintly seeped out of them, it was clear that they were not ordinary disciples. At this moment, these seats were all empty. Clearly, those who had the qualification to sit in them were the heavyweights in the four pavilions. Xiao Yan sat cross-legged in the silver tree when he saw that the grand meeting had not formally begun. After which, he shut his eyes and recuperated. The time Xiao Yan recuperated did not last for long when a clear gong sound suddenly appeared on the lightning mountain. Immediately, numerous agile figures flashed from the mountaintop. After which, they spread apart. The positions in which these scattered individuals occupied was excellent. They coincidentally surrounded the entire mountaintop. Any unusual movement would be locked onto by the sharp eyes of these guards. The disciples of the Wind Lightning Pavilion are indeed well trained. Xiao Yan's eyes opened when the gong sound appeared. He randomly glanced at the positions the human figures occupied as he quietly spoke in his heart. An enormous thunderbolt suddenly rushed down from the cloud layer while Xiao Yan was muttering to himself. The instantaneous bright light caused most people to reflexively shut their eyes. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes, studying the enormous thunderbolt. A couple of people were slowly walking out of that spot. Finally, they sat on the silver wooden seats. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over them and his gaze immediately paused on a familiar figure. A coldness flashed across his eyes. Fei Tian. It's actually the Wind Lightning Pavilion's four pavilion chiefs. Tisk tisk, the Wind Lightning Pavilion is indeed filled with experts. The person in the middle should be the rumored Lei Zun Jai, right? Some exclamations resounded over the place when everyone opened their eyes and saw the four people at the seats. Xiao Yan's heart jumped when he heard this. His gaze turned and instantly paused on a person at the middle. 
This person had a large build and looked as though he was only 40 or 50 years old. However, his chin was covered in a silver-colored beard. He was wearing a silver-colored robe with lightning pictures sewn on it. Looking from a distance, those pictures seemed to be alive as they continuously flowed. A slight lightning aura even vaguely seeped out of it. This person's aura seemed to be far inferior to Fei Tian and the two others. He even had the feeling of an ordinary person. However, by relying on his exceptional spiritual perception, Xiao Yan clearly sensed a dangerous feeling from this person. Such a feeling was something that even Fei Tian did not give off. Is he the chief of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, the one called Lei Zunjie? He is indeed extremely frightening. Xiao Yan exhaled. This was the first time his actual body had faced a real Dozun for the first time. Although the purple-clothed, old man whom he had met at the Hall of Souls was also a Dozun, Xiao Yan was merely a wisp of spiritual strength at that time. An ear-piercing wind sound suddenly resounded over Lightning Mountain when Xiao Yan was feeling amazed in his heart. Immediately, everyone was stunned to see an enormous sword that was over a hundred feet in size cutting through the distant space, rushing over. Within a flash, it appeared in the sky above the stadium. Ha ha, Jian Zunjie, you are the fastest to arrive this time around. A silver-robed Lei Zunjie stood up when he saw the enormous sword in the sky. After which, his laughter sounded over the lightning mountain like rolling thunder. The enormous sword shook gently and transformed into countless light spots as it collapsed. Two figures slowly descended from the sky above, landing at their seats. The two figures consisted of an old and young man. Xiao Yan was familiar with the young person. He was Tang Ying from the Ten Thousand Sword Pavilion. The old man beside him was small in size. He was wearing linen clothes and seemed like an inconspicuous, small, old man. However, everyone present knew that this small, old man was a frightening existence who was on the same level as Lei Zun Jie. It is unexpected that even Jian Zun Jie has arrived. Looks like those who have arrived at the Wind Lightning Mountain Range earlier are merely the advance party of the four pavilions. Those who are arriving now are the core individuals. Jian Zun Jie's appearance instantly caused the stadium's atmosphere to become fiery hot. Jian Zun Jie did not really bother with Lei Zun Jie's laughter. He rolled his eyes and sat down in a chair. Tang Ying behind him respectfully stood with his hands lowered. Old Jian still has such temper. It looks like the match back then is still a blotch in your heart. A strange laugh, that carried a sinister feeling, sounded when Jian Zun Jie had just sat down. Immediately, a dark black glow rushed over from the foot of the mountain. It appeared to have teleported as materialized in their seats. With a wave of his sleeves, the figure unceremoniously sat down. The human figure, who had appeared, was an old man in black robes. His facial complexion was pale and a somewhat shady look was present between his brows. One of his eyes was black while the other was white, giving him an extremely strange appearance. A familiar figure was behind him. This person was naturally Wang Chen from the Yellow Spring Pavilion. Back then, the old me was unlucky and narrowly lost to him. It is at least much better than some people who have merely lasted for a hundred exchanges in Feng Zun Jie's hands before being defeated by him. Don't you agree who Ong Quan Zun Jie? Jian Zun Jie glanced at the black-robed, old man as he spoke in a neutral voice. The eyes of the black-robed, old man immediately turned chilly when he heard these words. Before he could retort, however, there was a slight change in his expression. His sinister eyes locked firmly on the sky. There was a dragon roar like wind suddenly transmitted over from that spot. This fellow clearly has the fastest speed. Yet he always likes to be the last to arrive. Jian Zun Jie raised his eyes. His turbid gaze looked at the distant sky as he laughed. Jian Zun Jie's voice had just sounded when the dragon roar like wind was transmitted over with a bang. Immediately, an enormous green whirlwind appeared above the mountain in front of a countless number of eyes. Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly shifted when this green colored whirlwind appeared. He stared firmly at it and the fists in his sleeves abruptly tightened. Feng Zun Jie, the enormous green-colored whirlwind appeared to be twinkling as it materialized in the sky above the enormous stadium within a couple of breaths. The whirlwind gently shook and suddenly paused. After which, it transformed into a countless number of light spots, which scattered. 
Two figures rode a breeze as they slowly landed next to their seats. It is actually Feng Zunjie. Unexpectedly, four Zunjie, Do Zun, have arrived at this grand meeting. This trip has indeed been worthwhile. Usually, it is difficult to see even an elite Do Zun, yet four of them have appeared together at this moment. The Four Pavilion Grand Meeting is extremely grand. No wonder it attracts so many people. Hee <laughs> hee, I wonder just who will be the final victor of the Grand Meeting this time around. The two people, who were the last to appear, naturally attracted the gazes of the entire stadium, more so for Xiao Yan. The two figures had just appeared when his gaze instantly turned to them. Xiao Yan had already met the green-clothed Mu Qing Luan. Hence, his eyes did not pause for long on her before they suddenly paused on the old man in front of her. The old man was wearing a green robe. His long hair spread over his shoulders, giving him a sort of free and easy appearance. That face of his could not be considered ordinary. Even though he was already very old, one could still vaguely see a handsomeness. It was likely that his appearance was definitely breathtaking when he was young. Looking at his outer appearance, he was clearly superior among the four Dozuns present. Perhaps it was because he practiced Wind Affinity Qi method, but his demeanor appeared ethereal, giving others an unfathomable feeling. Is he Feng Zun Jie? Xiao Yan's eyes slowly sized up the green clothed, old man. An excitement also flashed across his eyes. He had heard about this Feng Zun Jie quite a number of times from Yao Lao. This person could be considered a friend of Yao Lao that had undergone life and death situations with him. If these words were true and he valued the relationship as greatly as what Yao Lao had described, Xiao Yan should be able to achieve a truly great helper this time around. An excitement rose within Xiao Yan's heart. Lei Zun Jie and Jian Zun Jie on the seats smiled and cupped their hands together when they saw Feng Zun Jie arrived. Feng Zun Jie had become famous much earlier than any of the three others. Hence, these two people still cupped their hands politely despite all of them currently sharing the same status. However, Huang Quan Zun Jie by the side seemed to have a conflict with Feng Zun Jie. After narrowing his eyes and glancing at him, he turned his head and looked as though he had not seen him. The green robed Feng Zun Jie's face wore a warm smile. He reciprocated the courtesy of Lei Zun Jie and Jian Zun Jie. However, he did not give Huang Quan Zun Jie by the side another look. Although the four pavilions were afraid of each other, Feng Zun Jie was at odds with this Huang Quan Zun Jie. Moreover, the other party's shadiness and ruthless character were things that Feng Zun Jie disliked. After the couple of them politely greeted each other, Lei Zun Jie raised his head and looked at the sky. After which, he slowly stood up and swept his gaze over the stadium. Immediately, the noisiness that shot toward the clouds became completely silent under those eyes that contained a faint lightning glow. Today is the auspicious day that my Wind Lightning Pavilion will hold the Four Pavilion Grand Meeting. Thank you all for coming to the Lightning Mountain to support my Wind Lightning Pavilion. However, I think that everyone is aware of the rules of my Wind Lightning Pavilion. I hope that there will not be anyone interrupting the Grand Meeting when it is being held. Lei Zun Jie's faint voice was just like a thunder as it resounded over the entire lightning mountain. Moreover, his voice contained a hint of lightning might. Some of the weaker individuals involuntarily trembled. Lei Zun Jie's words were filled with a domineering tone. It was just like an unyielding thunderbolt that did not allow anyone to refute it. Some people might not like to hear such words, but no one present dared to oppose him with his frightening strength. The frightening deterrence of an elite Do Zun was really extraordinary. Lei Zun Jie only nodded slightly when he saw that no unusual noises had appeared. His hand was waved and a clear gong once again sounded in an unhurried manner. The number of participants of this season's Four Pavilion Grand Meeting is 53, including the four disciples of the Four Pavilions. The old rules will still apply. It will begin with a chaotic battle until there are only eight people remaining. All the competitors please enter now. Lei Zun Jie's voice once again sounded when the gong appeared. Waves of rushing wind resounded over the stadium when Lei Zun Jie's voice finished speaking. Immediately, numerous young figures flashed into the arena. Finally, they landed one after another and were spread around the arena. All of them were alert. The appearance of these people immediately caused the grand meeting to turn into one with a fiery hot atmosphere. 
Deafening cheers surged around the mountain in an overwhelming manner. They charged to the sky. The distant dark clouds had also begun to ripple as a result. Miu Ching Luan, Tang Ying, and Wang Chen in the VIP seats exchanged glances when the participants entered the arena. After which, their bodies moved and they gently landed in the arena. The moment these three people entered, their surroundings emitted a flapping sound as they became empty. Everyone present knew the strength of these three. Naturally no one would automatically deliver themselves to them. Being one of the main characters of this grand meeting, the entrance of Miu Ching Luan and the two others caused the cheers in the stadium to surge even more. The atmosphere on the mountaintop had swiftly entered an extremely excited one following their entrances. Screech! A clear crane cry suddenly sounded in the sky the moment the three people entered the arena. Immediately, an enormous, colorful crane came gliding over from one side of the mountaintop. A beautiful figure pressed her toes on the enormous crane's back. The moving figure rushed down and landed in the arena without emitting the slightest noise. Xiao Yan's eyes glanced over. The figure was naturally Feng Qi'er. Her noble demeanor was something that no one could compare with. The atmosphere outside of the arena immediately soared when Feng Qing'er entered. Everyone knew that the chances of this lady winning this season's Four Pavilion Grand Meeting were the highest among all the participants. The moment Feng Qing'er appeared, surprise flashed across the eyes of Feng Zunjie, Qian Zunjie, and Huang Quan Zunjie in the VIP seats. Immediately, Jian Zunjie laughed. Looks like Lei Zunjie has really invested. You have even personally helped hide her actual strength. Are you planning on catching us by surprise? Lei Zunjie laughed out loud when he heard this. He said, What is Qian Zunjie saying? This girl's status is a little unique. Therefore, I can only do it this way. There is really no other choice. Looks like Lei Zunjie really wishes to continue holding the top seat of this season's Four Pavilion Grand Meeting. The Wind Lightning Pavilion likely has the highest chance of victory in this competition. Feng Zunjie's gaze paused on Feng Qing'er's lovely body as he softly spoke. Feng Zunjie is thinking too much. That girl Qing Luan is someone from the mythical bird tribe. If her bloodline awakens, she can also be considered an outstanding person among the younger generation. Lei Zunjie waved his hand and laughed. However, his eyes revealed a pride that ordinary people had difficulty detecting. He indeed coveted the thought of gaining the top spot in this season's Four Pavilion Grand Meeting. Feng Zunjie merely smiled noncommittally in the face of Lei Zunjie's words. Huang Quan Zunjie by the side frowned. Wang Chen could be considered one of his most outstanding disciples after all these years. However, there was still a little gap when he was compared to Feng Qing'er. It seemed that the position of the Yellow Spring Pavilion would not experience too much change during this season's grand meeting. The Yellow Spring Pavilion had always been ranked last among the four pavilions. However, Huang Quan Zunjie was helpless to improve this. After all, the Yellow Spring Pavilion was indeed unable to compare with the other three pavilions when it came to the method of grooming the younger generation. Xiao Yan's eyes were firmly locked onto Feng Qing'er while he sat on the silver wood. He had always felt a vague sense of danger when facing this woman. This had nothing to do with strength. It was just a vague feeling that was inexplicable. Xiao Yan knit his brows. His eyes slide as they slowly swept over the arena. At this moment, every corner of the arena had some competitors standing with a cautious faces. These people were all quite young, but they were exceptionally strong. Of course, those who had the qualification to participate in this grand meeting were definitely not ordinary people. They were either those with outstanding training talent or people supported by a strong faction. This place is indeed worthy of being the Central Plains. Even in the Black Corner region, one would be hard-pressed to find a couple of young Do Huangs. It is unexpected that the Four Pavilion Grand Meeting has attracted so many of them. Xiao Yan softly sighed. The Central Plains were indeed worthy of being the part of the Do Chi continent with the most strong people. This place was filled with tons of talent. No one knew if there would suddenly be a complete dark horse appearing. While Xiao Yan was feeling amazed, his shifting gaze suddenly paused. A surprised, huh, escaped from his mouth. The spot where Xiao Yan's eyes had paused was coincidentally a corner of the arena. There was a black-clothed figure there. 
This person's back faced Xiao Yan. Despite being a great distance away, Xiao Yan felt that this back was somewhat familiar for some unknown reason. Xiao Yan slightly frowned. With his current strength, this kind of familiar feeling would not appear without reason. While Xiao Yan was feeling uncertain, the black clothed man clenched his hand, and a long spear flashed and appeared. His body also coincidentally shifted, allowing Xiao Yan to see the outline of his face. Xiao Yan was stunned for a moment when he saw that familiar face from the side. Finally, he abruptly clapped his hands. A stunned expression flashed across his eyes. Lin Yan, what is that fellow doing here? The person who had appeared in front of Xiao Yan's eyes was surprisingly Lin Yan who had accompanied Xiao Yan from the Jia Nan Academy to the Jia Mao Empire back then. However, when Xiao Yan went to the valley to undertake a retreat, Lin Yan, Lin Xuya, and Lu Qing left the Jia Mao Empire together. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan would actually be able to meet this fellow in this place. The surprise in Xiao Yan's eyes gradually withdrew and he involuntarily shook his head. He had just arrived in the Central Plains for less than half a year, but he had actually met quite a few familiar people from back then. Fate was really unpredictable. Since everyone has gathered, let the competition begin. Lei Zun Jie from the leader's seat ceased chatting when he saw that everyone had gathered in the arena. He raised his head and waved his hand. That faint voice of his resonated within everyone's ears. After Lei Zun Jie's words rang out, the atmosphere in the arena suddenly became tense. Fifty three gazes swept across each other. Their eyes were filled with caution for the other party. In this kind of chaotic situation, all one needed to do was to get themselves to continue remaining in order to obtain victory. At the same time, however, most of the people knew that this selection was extremely harsh and cruel. Only eight among the 53 people would remain. Four of these eight positions were already occupied by the people from the four pavilions. In other words, only four among the other 49 people would be able to remain. Four out of 49. One could just imagine just what kind of intense battle would erupt as a result of such a filtering method. While the atmosphere in the arena was tense, the stadium around it also became quiet. Countless numbers of eyes were staring at the arena without blinking. The people inside were all considered the top among the younger generation. Other than a small portion of them, most of the people possessed a strength that they were really proud of. The battle that erupted between these people would naturally catch the attention of others. Ever since Xiao Yan discovered Lin Yan's figure, his eyes had remained focused on him. With his eyesight, he was naturally able to tell the latter's strength at a glance. For Star Do Huang, this strength might be considered quite good in other places, but it was barely considered to meet the requirement to participate in the competition in this place. It is unexpected that he has actually reached the Do Huang level after having not met for a couple of years. I remember before I undertook the retreat back then, Lin Yan's strength was merely at the Do Wang class. It seems that he should have also met with some lucky and unique encounters during these years. Xiao Yan's eyes rotated over Lin Yan's back as he softly muttered to himself. A lucky and unique encounter was not some fantasy in the Central Plains. Xiao Yan was able to borrow the help of the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool to break through to the Dozong class. Naturally, other people would also be able to obtain some unique encounters that an ordinary person would find it difficult to experience. The Central Plains were extremely vast. Who was able to completely investigate the interior of those vast mountain ranges? However, for some unknown reason, Lin Xuya and Lu Qing are not with him. The three of them should have left together. Xiao Yan muttered. He had quite a good impression of Lin Yan and the two others. Moreover, when he had just broken through to the Dou Wang class, Lin Yan and the other two still followed him despite knowing that he had a great enemy like the Misty Cloud sect. This favor was something Xiao Yan did not allow himself to forget. However, these three fellows had left by themselves because of boredom after the matter of the Misty Cloud sect was settled. Thus, Xiao Yan had lacked the opportunity to return the favor. Clang. The atmosphere in the arena had reached such a tense and unbearable level while Xiao Yan was muttering to himself when someone finally could no longer endure it. He took the lead to attack as the weapon in his hand pierced toward a person a short distance from him. However, the people within the arena were in an extremely cautious state. 
This person's figure was discovered the moment he moved. The person who was attacked allowed the dochi in his body to surge in his anger. Immediately, he tightened his grip on the weapon in his hand and attacked the one who had launched a sneak attack. With the two exchanging blows, the tense atmosphere in the arena instantly collapsed. Waves of various colored, powerful dochi surged out. After which, the entire arena had completely descended into chaos. Over 50 Dohuang class dochi had spread to every single corner of the stadium. A powerful energy pressure permeated the stadium, causing quite a number of people to feel a pressure. Dochi spread in all directions in the arena as chaos continued to spread. At this moment, almost everyone beside them was their opponent. Hence, every single person acted like frightened birds. As long as someone entered within a few dozen feet from them, the dochi within their bodies would involuntarily unleash a fierce attack on the person who had barged into their territory. In this chaos, it was only natural that situations of a few people joining hands against another became a common occurrence. At this moment, one could only consider such a person unlucky. In the face of attacks by a couple of people at a similar level, that person would be swiftly defeated within less than 10 exchanges. Chaos was a kind of catalyst. Seeing the chaotic battle in the arena that caused one's skin to turn numb, the surrounding gallery erupted into a soul-stirring cheer. Quite a number of people's faces and necks reddened because of the atmosphere. From the looks of it, they seemed to wish that they were one of those present in the arena. The deafening sound wave caused Xiao Yan to feel quite helpless. A thought flashed through his heart and his dochi covered both of his ears, completely isolating him from the noise. His gaze, on the other hand, had remained focused on the chaotic battle. At this moment, the arena had descended into complete chaos. The clear sound of colliding dochi and clashing blades reverberated around. In this chaotic situation, there was a continuous number of people vomiting blood and withdrawing despite the people present being strong individuals. This place was far too chaotic. If one managed to defend their front, they were unable to defend their back. Enemies were all around them. If one was careless, there would be a fatal blow heading one's way. Blades did not possess eyes in such a competition. Being injured was a frequent matter. If one shouted, I admit defeat, just before suffering a fatal blow, there would naturally not be a killing move against launching against the loser according to the rules. The chaos continued for less than 10 minutes, but there were over a dozen seriously injured competitors who had no choice but to leave the arena. After all, if they were to continue fighting, it would likely no longer just be a question of serious injuries. The chaos in the battleground had also somewhat exceeded Xiao Yan's expectations. Originally, he had thought that this kind of grand competition would choose a traditional one-on-one -on -one elimination method. Unexpectedly, it had resorted to this hodgepodge elimination, hence, not only would one require ability, but one would also need a certain amount of luck. After all, even a hero would fall after being outnumbered. Even if one was an expert at the peak of the Dohuang class, the result of him being unluckily attacked by over a dozen Dohuangs would also likely be quite miserable. Of course, the person that really exceeded Xiao Yan's expectations was Lin Yan. His strength could only be considered intermediate in this place. However, he was not eliminated despite over 10 minutes passing. Xiao Yan only managed to tell some of the reasons after carefully observing him. This Lin Yan's agility seems to be very strange, but it is just too ugly. Xiao Yan was deep in thought as he watched Lin Yan's agility, which appeared extremely ugly to the point of being awkward. On the surface, it was just like a duck swaying left and right. However, under Xiao Yan's eyesight, he was able to tell that this agility do technique was definitely not ordinary. It profoundness was not inferior to the 3000 lightning movement. This fellow really has had a unique encounter during these years. Xiao Yan smiled. He was certain that this ugly, awkward agility technique was something that Lin Yan of the past had never practiced. Clearly, it should be something that he had obtained during these years of training. Xiao Yan sighed in relief when he saw that Lin Yan was able to endure. Regardless of the situation, he and Lin Yan had quite a good relationship. It was natural that he would feel happy to see him gain an achievement today. Xiao Yan's eyes shifted away from Lin Yan and slowly swept over the arena. Immediately, 
He narrowed his eyes. The arena might currently be extremely chaotic, but there were still four safe, small circles. The owners of these four small circles were Feng Qing'er, Mu Qing Luan, Tang Ying, and Wang Chen. The aura of these four was maintained at the peak of the Dou Huang class. Their faces were cold as they studied the somewhat chaotic battleground around them. Anyone who dared to step into their territory would immediately receive a fierce attack. The strength of the four of them could be considered top-notch in this place. Although there were a couple of others who performed quite well in the arena, they clearly did not dare to randomly make contact with these four. The chaos continued within the arena. It had basically become a filter where people were eliminated. Those who remained were swiftly becoming fewer and fewer. Following the swift reduction in numbers, the chaos within the arena gradually diminished, especially the case when there were only 11 people remaining in the arena. The chaotic arena immediately became unusually quiet. The 11 people were scattered all over the place. While they were panting, they were also cautiously watching each other. Xiao Yan beamed when his eyes swept over the arena and discovered that Lin Yan was among them. However, the weakest person within the arena was also him. Other than Feng Qing'er and the three others, most of the others remaining were seven-star or eight-star experts. Of course, the reason he was able to endure until now was mainly because of his strange agility Dou skill. Being unique, it was naturally much easier for Lin Yan to attract the attention of the others. It was the first time in so many four pavilion grand meeting that someone was able to endure until now with just the strength of a four-star Dou Huang. Of course, such good luck would naturally not continue to accompany Lin Yan. After the eleven people in the arena had briefly rested, the ten others immediately turned their gazes toward him with ill intent. A red-clothed man among them, who had reached the strength of an eight-star Dou Huang, stomped on the ground. His body shot straight toward Lin Yan like an arrow. Seeing that he had attracted the attention an eight-star Dou Huang, Lin Yan's expression involuntarily changed. That strange agility was unleashed as he narrowly dodged the fierce attack that arrived. At the same time, his footsteps also quickly withdrew. That red-clothed man let out a cold laugh after his futile attempt. The large blade in his hand was drawn until many afterimages appeared. His body moved and quickly gave chase like the maggots in one's bones. The sharp blade glow in his hand forced Lin Yan to pull back. Xiao Yan had already stood up on the silver wood. His eyes narrowed as he watched Lin Yan, who narrowly escaped time and time again. He would not watch Lin Yan die from another person's blade. If it came to a critical juncture, he would naturally intervene and rescue him. But, something seems wrong. Xiao Yan's eyes firmly stared at the two where one was chasing and the other fleeing. His brows were suddenly knit together. That red-clothed man had a couple of chances to injure Lin Yan earlier, but he did not attack. From the looks of it, it seemed as though he was purposefully chasing Lin Yan. Xiao Yan's eyes congelated as he mused a little. Immediately, his gaze paused on a yellow-robed man with a cold face closest to Lin Yan. This person was not unfamiliar to Xiao Yan because he was Wang Chen from the Yellow Spring Pavilion. At this moment, he was like a poisonous snake as he looked at Lin Yan approaching his territory. The corner of his mouth revealed a sinister look. That fellow is planning on forcing Lin Yan into Wang Chen's attacking range. Xiao Yan's heart turned cold. This fellow was really vicious. He was thinking of using another person to do his dirty deed. Just when Xiao Yan had discovered the intention of the red-clothed man, Lin Yan, who was swiftly withdrawing, finally took a step into Wang Chen's attacking range. A chill surged into Lin Yan's heart when his feet stepped into range. Immediately, he saw the red-clothed man in front of him smile sinisterly as he swiftly pulled back. The corner of his eyes drifted, only to see a black-colored pillar that contained an incomparable amount of killing intent shooting toward his throat like a poisonous snake. Stop, I admit defeat. Lin Yan felt his heart immediately turn numb when he saw this black-colored pillar attack. The gap between Wang Chen and him was really too great. Even with the help of his agility, he was no match for him. However, Wang Chen merely laughed in the face of Lin Yan's cry. He was a bloodthirsty person and blood had to appear on his hand. How was it possible for him to withdraw his attack? Damn it, you shameless bastard. 
Lan Yan furiously cursed with a pale face when he saw that this fellow did not let him off despite having admitted defeat. Nevertheless, cursing was one thing. At this critical moment, his strange ugly agility was hurriedly displayed. His body swayed strangely as he swiftly withdrew. The black pillar shot over like a poisonous snake, striking Lin Yan's shoulders. Lin Yan immediately vomited a mouthful of fresh blood after suffering this heavy blow. His body rubbed on the ground, forming a scar that was dozens of meters long. Had he not avoided being struck in a fatal point, it was likely that he would have died. The scene in the battleground had stirred waves of curses outside of the arena. Wang Chen used such a vicious attack when the other party had already admitted defeat. From the looks of it, he did appear a little despicable. Wang Chen completely ignored the noise outside of the arena. His gaze was dark and cold as it stared at Lin Yan. The other party's earlier curse had clearly stirred the killing intent within his heart. Immediately, he let out a cold smile. His hand was clenched and two long black daggers rolled down from his sleeves. His body shot out in a lightning-like manner and appeared in front of Lin Yan in the blink of an eye. The daggers in his hands did not hesitate as they turned into black glint that trickily and viciously pierced toward Lin Yan's chest. Lin Yan didn't have the time to dodge. Damn it, this fellow is really shameless. He has really thrown away the face of the Yellow Spring Pavilion. If Wang Chen earlier actions were said to have stirred some booze, this current action of his had infuriated quite a number of people. Immediately, many furious curses were emitted from all directions. The many curses appeared to have merely caused the smile on Wang Chen's face to become colder. However, the actions of his hands were not the least bit slowed. Li Yan could only watch as the black glint, which contained a cold air pierced toward a fatal spot. Moreover, he did not possess any ability to dodge it. Am I about to die here? A soft muttering sounded in Lin Yan's heart. Just when he was prepared to shut his eyes and await his death, however, a suction force suddenly surged from behind him. His body also involuntarily pulled back. Immediately, he sensed a warm hand patting his shoulders. After which, a helpless voice which seemed familiar appeared beside his ear without any forewarning. You, do you have nothing better to do, but come here and participate? The voice that had suddenly sounded by the side of his ear caused Lin Yan to be startled. The thoughts in his mind became dull for a moment before his eyes suddenly widened. He suddenly turned around. Both of his eyes revealed a wild joy and surprise when he saw that familiar face. Shish, don't say anything. Xiao Yan merely smiled and whispered when he saw Lin Yan's stunned expression. Lin Yan immediately reacted upon hearing this familiar voice again. An excitement that was difficult to describe swiftly surged into his eyes. He parted his mouth and nodded. Using a voice that only the two of them could hear, he said, Good fellow, why have you come to the Central Plains? Xiao Yan grinned in the face of Lin Yan's excited expression. After which, he waved his hand, indicating that this was not the place to chat. Lin Yan also woke up when he saw this. His gaze swept around. The sudden unexpected situation back then had clearly attracted the gazes of everyone present. All of them were able to see Xiao Yan suddenly entering the arena to rescue him from Wang Chen's hands with a blitzkrieg tactic. Quite a number of Wind Lightning Pavilion's expert guards around the arena immediately rushed over when they what Xiao Yan did. A furious sound was emitted from the arena, Who are you? Why have you interrupted the competition? Over a dozen Wind Lightning Pavilion's experts with Dou Qi wings on their backs were suspended in the air. They surrounded Xiao Yan with cold, stern eyes. The weapons that they held in their hands vaguely emitted a cold glint. The sudden unexpected change had similarly exceeded Wang Chen's expectations. When he had recovered, his dark, cold eyes were immediately locked onto Xiao Yan. The black-colored daggers in his hand gently rubbed against each other, emitting a creaking sound that caused one's heart to feel cold. According to the rules of the Grand Meeting, one cannot continue to attack anyone who admits defeat. However, this person ignored the rules earlier. Instead of going after him, why is everyone questioning me? Xiao Yan released the hand grabbing Lin Yan's shoulder. After which, he raised his head and glanced at the dozen plus experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion as he spoke in a faint voice. Xiao Yan did not wish to expose his identity here. Hence, 
He had suppressed his voice on purpose, causing it to appear a little hoarse. The dozen-plus experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion were stunned when they heard Xiao Yan's words. All of them glanced at Wang Chen. They had naturally witnessed the scene earlier. However, he was a member of the Yellow Spring Pavilion. Moreover, that Huang Quan Zun Jie was currently in the VIP seats. What decision could the few of them make in this situation? Naturally, they could only choose to close one eye. However, they did not expect that Xiao Yan would intervene. Moreover, they had never expect that this person who had intervened did not appear to have understood the situation. Could the background of this Wang Chen be measured with the treatment of an ordinary person? Although they thought in this manner, they would naturally not dare to speak like this in public. After all, Wang Chen was the unreasonable one in this manner. Xiao Yan's rescue might be somewhat against the rules, but it was within reason. He is but trash who relied on luck to reach this point. It's fine if I kill him. What's so great about that? The experts from the Wing Lightning Pavilion might not dare to say it, but Wang Chen could act this fearlessly. He immediately let out a cold laugh. There was disdain within his evil voice. You as. A furious flame surged into the eyes of the fiery-tempered Lin Yan when he heard this. He had just taken a step forward when he was grabbed by Xiao Yan. Lin Yan could only grit his teeth violently after being grabbed by Xiao Yan. He turned around and stared at him in a dissatisfied manner. In his memory, Xiao Yan did not appear to be the kind of person who would swallow such an insult. It looks like the people from the Yellow Spring Pavilion only have such quality. The reason you were able to last until now is because you were relying on the reputation of the Yellow Spring Pavilion. There is nothing worthwhile to be arrogant about. Xiao Yan held Lin Yan as his eyes looked at Wang Chen and coldly laughed. He had similarly found this person to be quite an eyesore. The expression in Wang Chen's eyes had turned as chilly as a poisonous snake when he heard this. A ferocious look vaguely appeared on his face. The gazes of the other competitors around the arena looked over. Their eyebrows were knit when their eyes swept over Xiao Yan. Immediately, they shook their heads and muttered, Reckless fellow. On the surface, Xiao Yan's strength was specifically suppressed at the level of an eight-star Do Huang. With his current spiritual strength, even an expert like Fei Tian would likely have difficulty clearly seeing his exact strength, much less these people. However, there was one exception. Her pretty eyebrows were slightly bunched together when her eyes landed on Xiao Yan for the first time. A special sense that she was born with caused her to feel that he was vaguely familiar. It is not up to you as a younger generation to discuss what the Yellow Spring Pavilion is like. Whose disciple are you? Tell this old me. By being able to teach such an arrogant disciple, it is likely that your teacher should also possess some ability, no. Xiao Yan's cold laugh had just sounded when Huang Quan Zun Jie from the seats in the middle of the stadium raised his eyebrows and glanced at Xiao Yan. His faint voice contained a dense, cold feeling. Huang Quan Zun Jie sized Xiao Yan up when he spoke these words, and surprise flashed across his eyes. At a glance, he could tell that this person's appearance was purposefully altered. The thing that caused him to be most surprised was that this fellow's aura had a kind of obscure feeling to it. When he was about to perform a deeper observation, he sensed that the other party was covered within a layer of extremely hot flame. Although there were many obstructions, his old, sharp eyes could still tell that this fellow's strength was likely at least at the peak of the Do Huang class. This kind of feeling of having his sight blocked caused Huang Quan Zun Jie to be stunned. He had the strength of a Do Zun, yet he was unable to see through the strength of a member of the younger generation. While Huang Quan Zun Jie was feeling stunned by this, Lei Zun Jie, Feng Zun Jie, and Jian Zun Jie also shared this same feeling. All of them felt somewhat surprised in their hearts. The sudden words uttered by Huang Quan Zun Jie caused Xiao Yan's brows to be slightly knit. He did not expect that these old fellows would intervene and speak in this kind of competition between the younger generation. Immediately, he cupped his hands and spoke in a manner that was not inferior. Huang Quan Zun Jie really thinks too highly of the little me. I am merely speaking the truth as it is. This friend of mine has already admitted defeat, but the other party still launched a killing move. This action has already violated the rules of the competition. The remaining three Dozun Sirs have seen it clearly with their own eyes. 
I think that everyone knows just who is right, and who is wrong in their hearts. Quite a number of people felt admiration when they saw that Xiao Yan did not panic even a little when facing four elite Dozuns. This mentality was not something that an ordinary person possessed. After all, every single elite Dozun was a giant. It was not overboard to say that they could summon clouds with a flip of their hand and call the rain by turning it. This reply of Xiao Yan had also somewhat exceeded the expectations of Lei Zunjie and the two others. Before they could reply, however, the expression of Huang Quan Zunjie had become much darker. His voice was ice cold as he uttered, a mere advantage of words. Lei Zunjie, finish off this little trouble and don't hinder the progress of the competition. One could not see any emotion on Lei Zunjie's face as his finger gently tapped his armrest. He smiled faintly. His eyes swung to Feng Zunjie and Jian Zunjie beside him as he asked, KK, how do the two of you think we should deal with this matter? This old fellow was really cunning. He knew that it was easy to offend others like this. Wang Chen was in the wrong. If he favored him too much, everyone would think that the Wind Lightning Pavilion was unfair, damaging its reputation in the process. If he did not do anything, it was likely to offend Huang Quan Zunjie. Hence, he had thrown this hot potato to Feng Zunjie and Jian Zunjie. Let's do it according to the rules. Anyone who commits an offense in the competition must suffer a heavy punishment. However, on account of this being the first offense of this person, let him suffer 50 strikes of the thunder rod and expel him from Lightning Mountain. Huang Quan Zunjie spoke in an indifferent tone. That tone of his appeared to be discussing an insignificant manner. Of course, given his strength, he did indeed possess the qualification to say these words. He is not the one in the wrong. Are you trying to cause Lei Zunjie to end up being called unfair by randomly punishing this person? Feng Zunjie laughed and glanced at Huang Quan Zunjie as he replied. Huang Quan Zunjie's eyes became a lot more dangerous when he heard this. The Yellow Spring Pavilion did not have a reputation of being nice. If he allowed Xiao Yan to leave in peace after he openly ridiculed them, the reputation of the Yellow Spring Pavilion would be lost. Feng Zunjie is right. Although this person has interrupted the competition, he had a reason for doing so. Moreover, the actions of Wang Chen clearly show that he does not have any regards for the rules. It will really be difficult to explain things if the other person was punished. Why don't we do this? Let's all take a step back and allow this person to leave with his friend. The grand meeting will continue. What do you say? Jian Zunjie rubbed his beard as he laughed. Lei Zunjie was startled. Immediately, he shook his head helplessly in his heart. These two old fellows were clearly intending on getting Huang Quan Zunjie to lose face. However, what they had said was also reasonable. His wind lightning pavilion was not the yellow spring pavilion. Its style of doing things was also completely different. All Lei Zunjie could do at that moment was smile apologetically to Huang Quan Zunjie. Huang Quan Zunjie's face became much uglier when he saw the expression of Lei Zunjie. His gaze were icy as he observed Xiao Yan, who had sighed in relief within the arena. A faint fierceness flashed across his face. Immediately, a calm voice was emitted ahead of Feng Zunjie. Since you think that Wang Chen has endured until the end because he relied on my Yellow Spring Pavilion, this venerable self, Do Zun, shall give you an opportunity to exchange blows with him. You can bring your friend with you and leave peacefully regardless of the results. What do you say? Huang Quan Zun Jie's words immediately stirred an uproar in the stadium. Xiao Yan also frowned. It seemed that this old fellow did not possess the magnanimity that an elite Do Zun ought to have. Don't care about this old fellow who won't die. Let's leave. Lin Yan's expression slightly changed. He pulled Xiao Yan with the intention to leave. It was unexpected that this old fellow would say such words. He understood Wang Chen's strength very well. It was likely that only Feng Ching Er and a couple of others present could fight with him. If you do not dare to fight, you should kowtow three times to teach her. This matter will end if you do so. Otherwise, you will not be able to leave. Wang Chen's bright red tongue gently licked his sharp dagger as he ferociously laughed at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's dark black eyes stared intently at Wang Chen. The hands under his sleeves were tightly clenched. Should he fight or should he not fight? 
The eyes of everyone present paused on Xiao Yan. All of them wanted to know just how this young man, who appeared neither submissive nor overbearing, would deal with Wang Chen's provocation. Although most of the people present did not hold much hope, they still wished for Xiao Yan to fight with Wang Chen due to him being too displeasing to the eye. Xiao Yan finally sighed slowly in front of everyone a moment later. Xiao Yan, don't be reckless. Lin Yan hurriedly said. His expression changed when he saw Xiao Yan's actions. Xiao Yan turned his head and smiled. After which, he freed himself from Lin Yan's grip as he softly said, Relax. A person who has come from the Inner Academy will not be weaker than some random person from the Yellow Spring Pavilion. Xiao Yan slowly took a step forward after saying those words. His eyes looked at Wang Chen, and a simple word caused the hot blood of the countless number of people present to boil. Come! The entire stadium let out a cheer when they saw Xiao Yan take a step forward. Regardless of whether he was Wang Chen's match, just the boldness of stepping forward and facing his challenge head on caused many people to let out quiet praises. A dense smile flashed across Huang Quan Zun Jie's withered tree like face while he sat in the VIP seats. Although the brat in front of him was a little strange, he also possessed confidence in Wang Chen. His actual strength had already reached the level of half a step into the Dozong class after having soaked in the Heaven Mountain blood pool. As long as he was given sufficient time, his entry into the Dozong class was a given. Moreover, Wang Chen was also able to fight with an ordinary Dozong if he went all out. There was even less need to mention the current situation. Lei Zun Jie, what do you say to me occupying a little of the competition's time? Huang Quan Zun Jie looked at Lei Zun Jie as he faintly laughed. Lei Zun Jie smiled when he heard this, but did not reject him. Although Xiao Yan seemed a little strange, he was clearly far inferior to Huang Quan Zun Jie in his heart. It was only natural that Lei Zun Jie had to give him some time and face. Hopefully it will not drag out for too long. Huang Quan Zun Jie smiled. His gaze turned to Wang Chen in the arena as he faintly said. This matter was caused by you, so you should resolve this matter. You should know of the consequences if you fail to resolve it. Wang Chen's hands, which were holding the dark black daggers, trembled slightly upon hearing the words of Huang Quan Zun Jie. He bowed his body slightly to him as a savage smile surged onto his face. Teacher, please rest assured that this disciple shall let this person, who has humiliated our Yellow Spring Pavilion, pay the price. Huang Quan Zun Jie slowly leaned against the backrest and gently nodded. Jian Zun Jie and Feng Zun Jie by the side knit their brows slightly when they saw this. Their gazes looked at Xiao Yan in the arena with strange expressions. However, they did not say anything. If they were to continue placing obstructions, it was likely that this old fellow Huang Quan would explode today. The competitors present automatically withdrew to the side when they heard Lei Zun Jie's words. Their eyes immediately stared at Xiao Yan in the arena. This fellow dared to accept Wang Chen's challenge. They did not know whether he was crazy or if he possessed some confidence. Feng Ching Er's eyebrows were vertical as she studied Xiao Yan's figure. Her hands parted a thread of black hair in front of her forehead as doubt flashed across her pretty eyes. The progress of the competition also came to a halt as a result. However, the atmosphere on the mountaintop did not become chaotic. The many cheering cries had instead caused the atmosphere to become even more heated. Many people wanted to know whether Xiao Yan would be able to endure under Wang Chen's hands. Of course, this did not exclude their attitude of wanting to hear some other unbelievable scene. Lin Yan anxiously rubbed his hands together as he watched Xiao Yan, who was slowly walking into the arena. His heart felt a little regretful. He could vaguely sense that Xiao Yan's aura was far stronger than him. However, Wang Chen was someone at the peak of the Dou Huang class. Moreover, it was rumored that this fellow had a strength that could fight against an elite Dozong. The thing that caused him to be most worried about was that Wang Chen was a vicious person. Each time he fought with someone, the other party would definitely be crippled even if he did not die. Xiao Yan would likely be in a dangerous position when fighting with him. Damn it, if this fellow dares to hurt Xiao Yan, the old me will not let him off easily even if I have to risk this life of mine. Lin Yan viciously clenched his teeth. A fierce glint also flashed across his eyes. He was a person who greatly valued friendship, 
and he had a deep relationship with Xiao Yan. If anything were to happen to him, he would definitely not just sit idly by the side. Wang Chen looked at Xiao Yan, who was slowly walking over, with a pair of dark eyes. Xiao Yan finally stopped not far in front of him. The daggers in Wang Chen's hands were swiftly rotated before he clenched their hilts. The daggers obediently paused in his hands. If you admit defeat now and kowtow three times, I can allow you to get lost from Lightning Mountain. Wang Chen glanced at Xiao Yan and laughed in a dense voice. Xiao Yan merely smiled in the face of the sinister Wang Chen. He clenched his fist and Dou Qi immediately surged of his body. It swiftly gathered in his palm and a jade green energy ruler was formed. The heavy Zan ruler was overly conspicuous. If he were to take it out here, he would be immediately recognized. On the other hand, this large ruler formed by energy appeared blurry, and it also looked like a broadsword. The sinister smile on Wang Chen's face involuntarily became denser when he saw that Xiao Yan had ignored his words. The killing intent within his eyes swiftly rose. Brat, I will let you regret offending the Yellow Spring Pavilion. The sinister voice had just sounded when Wang Chen's body trembled. He transformed into a black rainbow. Within a breath's time, he had appeared behind Xiao Yan's back. The daggers in his hands moved in a lightning-like manner. They pierced eye two fatal spots, the neck and the back of his heart. Wang Chen might be fast, but the daggers had yet to land on Xiao Yan's body when the jade green energy ruler emitted a, shua, sound. It appeared behind his back. After which, he easily blocked the dagger attack. Wang Chen's face did not display any changes after his first attack proved futile. Black-colored Dou Qi, that contained a dense chillness, lingered over his dagger like poisonous snakes. They transformed into two enormous black pythons that bypassed the large energy ruler and violently pierced toward Xiao Yan's head. The large energy python had just charged out when a fist made of wind, carrying a deep sonic boom, landed on them, shattering them in the process. After shattering the large energy pythons, the energy ruler in Xiao Yan's hand emitted a, shua, sound. It carried a sonic boom as it was violently fanned. The powerful wind forced Wang Chen back. You are only so-so. Xiao Yan's face revealed a smile as he supported the heavy ruler on his shoulders. However, his calm voice only caused Wang Chen's eyes to become fiercer. It is only a warm-up. There is no need to speak so arrogantly. Wang Chen's bright red tongue licked a dagger. Dark black ink-like Dou Qi surged out of his body as though an enormous ink pillar had shot toward the sky. The strength of this Dou Qi exceeded that of an ordinary person at the peak of the Dou Huang class. At this moment, just the aura of Wang Chen could already be considered a quasi-elite Dou Zong. Although there was still an enormous gap to a genuine elite Dou Zong, it was ultimately much stronger than some experts at the peak of the Dou Huang class. Numerous exclamations were emitted from outside the arena as they sensed Wang Chen's powerful aura, some contained envy. The current Wang Chen had already taken half a step into the Dou Zong class. Half of the enormous gap between the Dou Huang and Dou Zong was already crossed by Wang Chen. The remaining half was only a matter of time. The faces of Feng Qing Er, Mu Qing Luan, and Tang Ying in the arena did not reveal any surprise. All of them had soaked in the Heaven Mountain blood pool, and knew that they had gained a great deal of benefits from it. It was within expectations that this Wang Chen had also taken half a step into the Dou Zong class. A elite Dou Zong, Xiao Yan muttered. He narrowed his eyes as his gaze looked at the powerful Dou Qi that lingered around Wang Chen like a whirlwind. When he had exchanged blows with this person in the Heaven Eye Mountain range, he had clearly been at the peak of the Dou Huang class. It was likely that the help of the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool had allowed him to gain such a breakthrough. The current you has already lost your final chance to show regret. Wang Chen's face was covered with a ferocity. It appeared to be faintly distorted, causing it to appear extremely terrifying. Xiao Yan frowned. This person was indeed somewhat troublesome to deal with. If this continued, there was no telling just how long he would be entangled. Moreover, someone might see through something during this period of time. Hence, it was best that he ended this battle as soon as possible. Just as Xiao Yan had made up his mind, Wang Chen, whose aura had already reached the peak, revealed an even more savage smile on his face. 
His body moved and the intense corrosive strength on the surface of his body caused a long gully to appear in the ground. Bone corroding round dagger dance. Wang Chen's speed was also much faster compared to before. In a flash, he appeared in front of Xiao Yan. The two daggers in his hands transformed into countless number of black glows that even caused numerous scars to appear in the air. The angle of the daga's dance was extremely strange. They had basically permeated all around Xiao Yan. Those black glows even contained waves of chillness that drilled into his heart. Xiao Yan's eyes coagulated. This Wang Chen was definitely using a kind of high-class Do skill. Moreover, it was likely that its level was quite high. This Yellow Spring Pavilion really lived up to its reputation of being one of the four pavilions that coexisted. Six Joint Body Flowing Ruler The heavy ruler in Xiao Yan's hand also moved as his heart desired at this moment, swiftly forming numerous ruler shadows. It formed a dense ruler web that completely wrapped around Xiao Yan's body. The black glow that came from all directions poured into the ruler's web as a clear sound continued to erupt. Each time a clear sound appeared, an enormous energy ripple would swiftly surge out, forming numerous spiderweb-like cracks on the hard silver wood arena. Exclamations were immediately emitted from all around as everyone watched the dazzling exchange in the battleground. No one expected that Xiao Yan would be able to fight evenly with Wang Chen when he had unleashed his Dou Qi to its peak. At this moment, anyone, regardless of how foolish they were, could tell that Xiao Yan's choice of agreeing to the fight was not some reckless act. Instead, he truly possessed the ability and qualification to fight with the other party. In the VIP seats, the smile on Huang Quan Zun Jie's face was reduced. In the end, it had completely transformed into a gloomy expression. From his senses, Xiao Yan's strength was continuously climbing. Within a short breath's time, it had approached Wang Chen. Moreover, it was still climbing. Feng Zun Jie, Lei Zun Jie, Jian Zun Jie, and the others gradually revealed surprise on their faces. All of them immediately fell deep into thought. This person had indeed hid his actual strength. If this was the case, it seemed the one in trouble was going to be, Wang Chen? A slight arc involuntarily curled on the faces of Feng Zun Jie and Jian Zun Jie when they thought of this. While these two were gloating, unexpected changes continued to appear in the arena. One could see the ruler shadows, that had been wrapping around Xiao Yan's body, suddenly disappearing. A powerful aura that was far stronger than that of Wang Chen immediately appeared just like a mountain peak that rose from the plains, surging to the sky as it did so. The majestic Dou Qi easily broke through the blade web formed by Wang Chen's dagger. With a flash of the ruler, an unusual flame swiftly gathered at the tip of the ruler. Six Joint Body Flowing Ruler, Six Joint Fire The Six Joint Body Flowing Ruler was divided into three levels, Splitting Fire, Body Flowing Fire, and Six Joint Fire. The difference in the strength of these three levels was also extremely great. However, Xiao Yan had seldom used the six joint body flowing ruler's attacking technique ever since practicing this skill because the thing that he valued the most was the defensive ability of the six joint body flowing ruler. Of course, this did not mean that the six joint body flowing ruler did not possess any other good points. For it to be able to reach the D class middle level, the offensive strength of the six joint body ruler would naturally be even more powerful than the flame splitting tsunami if it was used well. However, Xiao Yan of the past could at the very most use the splitting fire due to the limitations of his ability. He would have to strain himself if he used the body flowing fire. The six joint fire was even more distant. However, his breakthrough to the Dozong class this time around had allowed all of his abilities to leap forward overnight. He had also strode to the six joint fire level of this six joint body flowing ruler. This was one of the various benefits that advancing to the Dou Zong class had brought about. Dou Zong and Dou Huang were two completely different levels. Unless someone at the peak of the Dou Huang class possessed some truly strong trump cards, when attempting to leap across classes to challenge an elite Dou Zong, one's ending would definitely be extremely miserable. After all, the gap between the two was too great. This was also the first time that Xiao Yan had used the six joint fire of the six joint body flowing ruler ever since Xiao Yan had broken through to the Dozong class. Although he had difficulty predicting its strength, 
he knew that it would definitely be stronger than if he used all his strength to unleash the flame-splitting tsunami. A strange flame that appeared greenish-brown gently adhered to the surface of the ruler. This flame was not a real flame. Instead, it was a strange flame that had appeared when the Dou Qi within Xiao Yan's body was compressed to a point that was difficult to imagine. Of course, this could not be strictly considered a flame. At the very most, it could be considered an alternative of compressed Dou Qi. It was fortunate that he had already reached the Dou Zong class. Otherwise, with his previous strength of a Dou Huang, it would definitely be impossible for him to compress Dou Qi to such an extent. The greenish-brown flame adhered to the tip of the ruler, appearing as though it would scatter with one blow. However, it was this inconspicuous flame that tore a finger-wide black line in the air like an incomparably sharp blade when it was swung with the ruler's wind. There was no sonic boom or other unusual phenomenon when the ruler was swung out. Only a kind of dead silence like that prior to the eruption of a volcano. However, it was this gentle swing of the ruler that caused the expressions of everyone present, who possessed some knowledge, to change. Tang Ying, Mu Qing Luan, and even Feng Qing Er revealed a solemnness in their eyes. Disbelief and shock filled their eyes as they looked at Xiao Yan. This fellow, as actually an elite Dozong? Although Xiao Yan had changed his appearance slightly, he still appeared quite young. Hence, when Tang Ying and the others saw that the aura spreading out from his body had actually reached the Dozong class, a great storm had appeared in his heart. It did not calm down even after a long time. This person. Feng Qing Er eyebrows were knit. Her pretty eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan. When his aura had completely erupted earlier, the strange familiar feeling that she had sensed earlier had become much denser. She was clearly aware that this kind of unknown feeling would not randomly appear. Moreover, her perception was also much stronger than an ordinary person. Of course, compared with Tang Ying's group, the ones who felt most stunned by this were the sea of people in the stadium. From the start, no one held much confidence in Xiao Yan being the victor. Now, however, the aura that erupted like a volcano from Xiao Yan's body had truly exceeded that of Wang Chen. Wang Chen was a quasi Dozong. Just what level was Xiao Yan, who had exceeded him, at? There were only two words that answered that question Dozong. By having lost the quasi word in front, the gap between them was just like the heaven and earth. This fellow has actually reached the Dozong class. Lin Yan at the edge of the arena was also staring at Xiao Yan's back with a stunned look. When he had left the Jama Empire back then, he clearly remembered that Xiao Yan was nearly at the peak of the Dou Wang class. Now, however, he had actually leapt to a Dozong existence after only a few short years. Was this kind of training speed not a little too frightening? It should be known that he had already reached the level of a four-star Dou Huang, yet his strength had only soared so much because he had accidentally obtained an inheritance from an ancestor. However, the speed he was proud of seemed unworthy of even being mentioned compared with Xiao Yan. Although Lin Yan admired Xiao Yan, his highest estimate of his strength when they had reunited was at the very most equal to that of Wang Chen. However, he had never expected that Xiao Yan was truly able to reach the Dozong class. At this moment, he had finally understood why Xiao Yan dared to publicly accept Wang Chen's challenge. With his current strength, how many among the younger generation were his match? Even Wang Chen was only at the quasi Dozong level despite possessing the support of a great being like the Yellow Spring Pavilion. The expression of Huang Quan Zun Jie in the VIP seats had become unusually dark and cold at this moment. His gaze sinisterly stared at Xiao Yan. He had actually been mistaken this time around. Of course, he was not the only one who had been mistaken. Lei Zun Jie, Feng Zun Jie, and Jian Zun Jie by the side also revealed some shock on their faces. A moment later, a solemn expression flashed across their eyes. Although a Dozong was unworthy of causing them to act in this manner, the age of this Dozong was merely 20 or so. By being able to reach such a level at such a young age, this person either had monster-like talent or an extremely great background supporting him from behind. Looks like this person is not simple. Wang Chen is no match for him. Jian Zun Jie fondled his beard as he slowly spoke. Huang Quan Zun Jie's eyes turned cold when he heard Jian Zun Jie's words. He replied in a chilly, 
Dark voice, it is not over yet. Randomly guessing the outcome will only embarrass yourself. The corner of Jian Zun Jie's mouth was curled. His eyes looked at the arena and coldly laughed. I want to see just who will ultimately be embarrassed. During the tit for tat exchange between the two, the situation within the arena had become unusually dangerous in a split second. The ferocity on Wang Chen's face had become a lot stiffer in the face of Xiao Yan's silent ruler attack. A dense feeling of danger vaguely spread from deep within his heart, climbing to every corner of his body as it did. How is this possible? How can this brat be a dozong? Wang Chen grit his teeth. He inhaled a deep breath of air as his eyes swiftly turned crimson. A craziness surged out of his heart. He clearly knew just what kind of punishment would await him once he returned should he be defeated in Xiao Yan's hands. The moment he thought of this, the madness within Wang Chen's heart thickened. In the end, a beast-like roar was emitted from his throat. Following the emission of this roar, the small blood vessels on Wang Chen's skin suddenly burst apart. In an instant, he was covered in blood. Yellow Spring Blood Skill Under Wang Chen's crazy roar, his aura rose wildly like a fire arrow within an instant. Following the increase in strength of his aura, both of his eyes turned dark black in color. Dark black energy surged out of his body in all directions, spread out. Looking from a distance, he appeared just like a ferocious ancient beast, emitting a savage fierceness. Tang Ying's group involuntarily inhaled a breath of cold air when they saw Wang Chen's appearance. This fellow has even used the yellow spring blood skill. What a lunatic! Dark black energy lingered over Wang Chen's body. His majestic strength caused even space to ripple. A fierceness flashed across his eyes as he abruptly clenched his fist. Dark black energy agglomerated in a lightning-like manner. The dark black energy swiftly agglomerated as a dense corpse stench spread from Wang Chen's right hand. Immediately, his entire arm turned as black as ink. Yellow spring rotten corpse arm. The dark black arm suddenly shot out with a low roar. A crack was formed in the air when the black arm struck out. The tough silverwood arena seemed to have met its nemesis as it swiftly lost its luster. Immediately, it was just like withered wood, turning yellowish and rotten. It is the yellow spring rotten corpse arm, that is the extremely powerful dose skill of the yellow spring pavilion. Numerous astonished cries immediately sounded outside of the arena when everyone saw Wang Chen's black arm. Clearly, this dose skill was quite well known. The exclamations outside of the arena had just sounded when the falling ruler figure finally carried a wisp of greenish-brown flames abruptly fell. After which, it suddenly collided with a black arm. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth was lifted into an icy arc the moment the collision occurred. A wisp of glazed lotus core flame was quietly channeled through the body of the ruler before finally being shot out. The sudden collision brought about a soul-stirring explosion. An incomparable energy ripple spread out from the point where the two made contact. It swept out like a storm, and the Silverwood Arena instantly ended up as a large pit. Armed thick lines swiftly spread out like a spiderweb. Within the blink of an eye, they occupied half of the arena while wooden fragments flew everywhere. Silver-colored wooden fragments shot out at great speed like a storm. A silver light flickered when the sunlight shot over, causing it to appear extremely beautiful. The tornado that had just been formed from the silver-colored wood fragments when a figure suddenly shot away from it. It immediately smashed heavily into the arena. After which, it tore and formed a large gully in the arena, one that over nearly a hundred meters long. The entire stadium was completely silent. Countless numbers of gazes were dull as they looked at the dark black figure inserted in the silver wood. Wang Chen struggled to climb up. However, a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. He was about to maneuver his Dou Qi when waves of searing pain was transmitted from within his body. He hurriedly looked into himself, only to see a wisp of an extremely hot jade green flame emitting a high temperature within his body, wildly destroying it. This is. Wang Chen's eyes immediately shrank when he sensed this wisp of jade green flame. The storm that was created from the silver wood slowly disappeared. Xiao Yan's figure slowly surfaced within it. His dense eyes glanced at Wang Chen, who still had a breath remaining. After which, he raised his head and looked at Huang Quan Zunjie, who had a frighteningly gloomy expression. 
Good, good, brat. You have really surprised this venerable self. Zun J. Huang Quan Zun J slowly stood up. His voice revealed killing intent and fury, that he was trying his best to suppress. Xiao Yan's eyes slightly narrowed. He cupped his hands to Huang Quan Zun J and said, I have already fulfilled the agreement. Goodbye. Xiao Yan turned around and walked to the edge of the stadium after saying these words. Wait. Just when Xiao Yan had turned around and taken over a dozen steps, a coughing voice that contained a dense laugh was transmitted over. Xiao Yan paused his footsteps and turned his head. His eyes were chilly as he looked at Wang Chen, who was climbing up from the ground with much difficulty. Xiao Yan's voice was ice cold as he said, Do you still wish to continue? Cough. Wang Chen spat out a mouthful of blood. The savage smile on his face appeared exceptionally frightening when mixed with the fresh blood. I really did not expect that you would have advanced to the Dozong class within three short months. Looks like you gained the most from the Heaven Mountain blood pool. Don't you agree, Xiao Yan? Wang Chen's savage laughter caused everyone present to be stunned. A moment later, Shua sounds appeared as a countless number of eyes carried some disbelief and paused on Xiao Yan, who had suddenly stopped in the arena. Xiao Yan? That Xiao Yan who has a grudge with the Wind Lightning Pavilion? That Xiao Yan who forcefully broke the Nine Heavenly Lightning Prison Formation that the Three Great Elders of the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion had placed? The one who escaped from Fei Tian's hands? Countless numbers of people outside of the arena had instantly become completely stunned. No one expected that the unknown, young man, who had defeated Wang Chen, was actually Xiao Yan who had recently created an uproar in the northern region. Moreover, the thing that really caused them to feel a great disbelief was that this person actually dared to come to Lightning Mountain despite his conflict with the Wind Lightning Pavilion? Was. Was this not delivering himself to be captured? This fellow, as actually Xiao Yan? Is he crazy? Tang Ying opened his mouth. His cold face revealed a stunned expression when he looked at Xiao Yan. This fool. He has really come. Mu Ching Luan's pretty face was filled with shock. She had never expected that this fellow would dare to come to this lightning mountain. It is actually him. No wonder. Unexpectedly. His courage has reached such an extent. Looks like he really does not hold any regard for my wind lightning pavilion. Feng Ching Er's pretty eyes looked at Xiao Yan as the corner of her lips was slowly lifted into a slight arc. A faint chillness and arrogance was present in it. She had always truly hoped to have an exchange with him. She would restore the reputation of the Wind Lightning Pavilion through it. Unfortunately, she lacked the opportunity to do so last time. Lei Zun Jie and the others in the VIP seats were stunned as they looked at the noise over the entire place. A moment later, they had finally recovered. A smile on their face was also slowly withdrawn as they stared at Xiao Yan in the arena with expressionless faces. Lei Zun Jie's finger gently tapped on the armrest. The slight sound gave off an extremely pressurizing feeling to it. Lei Zun Jie had also heard of Xiao Yan's name. Relying on one's strength to turn the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion into such a miserable state was not something that an ordinary person could achieve. Fei Tian, is he that Xiao Yan? Lei Zun Jie's eyes revealed a lightning glow vaguely flickering as he turned his head to Fei Tian by the side and indifferently asked. The dense-looking Huang Quan Zun Jie gloatingly laughed in his heart as he clearly sensed the anger that was hidden in Lei Zun Jie's voice. He shrank his body back. It was unexpected that this fellow was the Xiao Yan who had caused an uproar recently. Thus, the matter today would be a little fun. Feng Zun Jie and Jian Zun Jie by the sides were similarly startled because of this. Their gazes were a little strange as they observed Xiao Yan. However, they did not say anything. This was a problem of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, and it was inappropriate for them to say anything. The silver-robed Fei Tian hurriedly got up when he heard Lei Zun Jie's words. At this moment, his face had become slightly ugly. He had already been scolded by Lei Zun Jie more than once over the matter with Xiao Yan. Moreover, he had also suffered the ridicule of those two others beside him. It was unexpected that the matter, that had been temporarily put aside today, was brought up again. Fei Tian clenched his fist under his sleeves. He took two steps forward and his sinister eyes turned to Xiao Yan in the arena as he coldly said, Brat, take off the thing on your face. 
The gazes of the entire place shifted along with the voice. They all gathered on Xiao Yan. Most of the people present knew that there was a conflict between the Wind Lightning Pavilion and Xiao Yan. If Xiao Yan's identity was confirmed, this little fellow would likely be unlucky today. Regardless of how strong he was, he would definitely be unable to successfully escape alive amid being surrounded by so many experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Xiao Yan's eyes also became slightly dark and solemn in the face of the countless numbers of gazes. He did not expect to be recognized by Wang Chen. It was likely due to the heavenly flame. When they had exchanged blows back then, Wang Chen was aware that the heavenly flame of Xiao Yan had a suppressing effect on his Dou Qi. Naturally, he had a deep impression of it. Xiao Yan's eyes were cold as they swept over Wang Chen, who was smiling in a savage manner. Immediately, a body hurried over. Lin Yan held a long spear in his hand and appeared beside Xiao Yan with a solemn face. Finally he asked in a deep voice, Do you want to charge out? Xiao Yan slightly shook his head. Given the strength of the two of them, it was likely that their chances of successfully escaping were very low if they forcefully tried to break out. Just leave it to me. Xiao Yan waved his hand and slowly raised his head. He immediately laughed in a cold voice as his hand grabbed his face. An item made of skin fell from it, revealing Xiao Yan's original face. Since he was already unable to hide, there was naturally no need to conceal his face any longer. Why? Pavilion Chief Fei Tian, are you planning on attacking me again today? Fei Tian's face turned dark and cold when he saw Xiao Yan's face, that had been deeply imprinted in his memory. His throat emitted a furious laugh as his body moved. A thunder resounded over the place and his figure suddenly disappeared. Xiao Yan's expression changed when he saw Fei Tian's body disappear. He sent Lin Yan back with palm as lightning glow flickered on his feet. His body slightly shook. Xiao Yan's body had just trembled when Fei Tian appeared behind him in a ghost-like manner. His hand claw, which was covered by lightning, violently penetrated through Xiao Yan's chest. However, it was unfortunate that not the slightest amount of fresh blood appeared. Afterimage. Fei Tian's hand shook and the afterimage was shattered. He slowly turned around, and his eyes coldly landed Xiao Yan suspended in a spot a few dozen meters above the ground. He coldly laughed. It has only been a couple of months since I last saw you, but your strength has improved. No wonder you are so arrogant. The Wind Lightning Pavilion is only so-so. It specializes in the elders bullying the younger ones and using its numerical advantage to bully others. Xiao Yan's gaze was ice cold as he stared at Fei Tian. A moment later, he suddenly let out a laugh. His eyes were raised as he looked at the expressionless Lei Zun Jie in the VIP seats. He mocked, if Lei Zun Jie really feels that this little self has a great enmity with the Wind Lightning Pavilion, why don't you act personally? With your Dou Zun's strength, the little me will definitely be unable to survive one exchange from you. Why do you need to make it so troublesome? Xiao Yan's words immediately stirred an uproar in the stadium. Quite a number of people wondered if Xiao Yan had knocked his head against something. He dared to provoke Lei Zun Jie at this time. However, some of the smarter individuals let out a quiet praise in their hearts after being stunned. What kind of status did Lei Zun Jie had? A elite Dou Zun. An existence that was like a giant in the Central Plains region. His status had a massive gap with Xiao Yan that was difficult to measure. This was the case regardless of whether it was in terms of reputation or ability. After Xiao Yan spoke those words, Lei Zun Jie would not dare to personally attack Xiao Yan today unless he wished to gain the reputation of bullying someone younger just because he was older. In other words, these words of Xiao Yan had helped sever a truly dangerous roar. With his current strength, other than facing an elite Dou Zun, he would still have the ability to flee even against an expert like Fei Tian. This brat is really cunning. Jian Zun Jie softly laughed before glancing at Lei Zun Jie by the side, who remained expressionless. There is no need to play these tricks in front of this venerable self, Dou Zun. There is no need for this venerable self to act in order to capture you. Lei Zun Jie's gaze stared indifferently at Xiao Yan. There was a little ripple within his voice. With an elder like the Northern Pavilion in front acting, there is naturally no need for Lei Zun Jie to act. In any case, these things are something that the Wind Lightning Pavilion commonly does. 
Moreover, if the Northern Pavilion Chief fails, there is still the Western Pavilion Chief and Southern Pavilion Chief. Xiao Yan laughed. A, brat, there is no need to speak with such thorny words. The Western and Southern Pavilions will not intervene in the matter of the Northern Pavilion. A large strong-looking man with naked arms laughed out loud in a thunder-like voice from the VIP seat. He was the pavilion chief of the Western Pavilion. Fei Tian frowned slightly when he heard this laughter. The status between Xiao Yan and him was really too different. Back then, he had no choice but to attack. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan still managed to flee. This had caused him to lose a great face. It was due to this that he was unable to control himself, and had launched an attack the moment he saw Xiao Yan. However, he found it difficult to make a decision on what he should do once he recovered his reasoning. If he were to really act when others did not, he would definitely end up with a reputation of bullying the weak. The Wind Lightning Pavilion was not the Yellow Spring Pavilion. It did not want such a reputation. However, if he did not attack at this moment, the other experts of the same generation within the Wind Lightning Pavilion would definitely not take the initiative to intervene unless Lei Zunjie gave the order. Thus, choosing whether to attack or not was a headache to him. Fei Tian struggled for a moment in his heart before a ruthless expression finally flashed across his face. This Xiao Yan had caused his Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion to lose its reputation. He would definitely not let Xiao Yan off today. After Fei Tian had made up his mind within his heart, a majestic, frightening strength slowly woke from within his body. Under the traction of this frightening aura, the layers of clouds in the distant sky emitted a rumbling sound. Silver lightning flickered within them as thunder sounded. Xiao Yan's eyes sank when he saw this. He did not expect this old fellow to be willing to end up with a bad reputation by insisting on attacking him. Xiao Yan, run! Lin Yan hurriedly cried out from within the arena. Fei Tian's strength was really too frightening. Even though Xiao Yan had advanced to the Dozong class, the gap between Xiao Yan and him was really too difficult to measure. Xiao Yan basically had no chance of victory if the two battled. Xiao Yan slightly shook his head. This place was Lightning Mountain, the headquarters of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. It was easier said than done when it came to escaping. Only by taking a risky fight would he have a chance to live. Moreover, Xiao Yan's eyes lifted up as he looked into the distance. Finally, they paused on the green-robed Feng Zunjie, who appeared extremely free and easy in the VIP seats. Was this person a trustworthy person like his teacher had mentioned? Xiao Yan would naturally not announce Yao Lao's name in public. Immediately, he inhaled a deep breath, cupped his hands together, and said in a deep voice, Feng Zunjie, this little self wishes for you to see something. Feng Zunjie was startled when he saw Xiao Yan suddenly speak to him. He immediately smiled and said, Little fellow, this matter is between you and the Wind Lightning Pavilion, and it doesn't seem to be related to my venerable self. Do Zun, Feng Zunjie was not acquainted with Xiao Yan. Naturally he would not offend the Wind Lighting Pavilion for Xiao Yan after having just met him for the first time. This was the case even if Feng Zunjie was not afraid of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Xiao Yan grinned. He took off the ancient black ring, that Yao Lao had left behind, from his finger. After which, he tossed it to Feng Zunjie. If he was indeed as Yao Lao had described and was worthy of his complete trust, Feng Zunjie's subsequent actions should prove something. Of course, if the results were different than what Xiao Yan imagined, Xiao Yan would still settle the future matters by himself. Feng Zunjie knit his eyebrows and looked at the dark black object that flew over. Under a countless number of gazes, Feng Zunjie grabbed the item with his hand. After which, he slowly opened his hand. An unusually familiar dark black ring was lying within it. The faint smile on Feng Zunjie's face slowly stiffened the moment his eyes saw the black ring. At the same time, it appeared as if the entire stadium had stilled. At this instant, Feng Zunjie's body seemed to transform into a statue. His eyes were dull as he stared intently at the ring with a deep spiritual imprint. A frightening storm was whistling and forming above his head. Although he did not utter a single word, everyone knew that Feng Zunjie was currently feeling an agitation in his heart he could not hide. After a short while, 
Feng Zunjie's body gradually relaxed in front of a countless number of stunned gazes his hand held the ring tightly as he leaned against his backrest. Both of his eyes were gradually shut and a soft voice carrying a tone that bore no argument was slowly emitted. No one is allowed to touch this person. The ancient voice softly lingered over the entire lightning mountain. There seemed to be a demonic strength within this voice. All the surroundings became completely still when it sounded. The expressions on the faces of a countless number of people froze at this moment. A gentle breeze blew past, carrying a completely comical dullness. No one knew just what exactly happened at this moment. However, the weight of Feng Zunjie's words appeared exceptionally clear in this place. It was likely that hardly anyone in this Dou Chi continent dared to doubt the weight of an elite Dou Zun. At the edge of the arena, Miu Qing Luan was similarly widening her small mouth as she looked to where Feng Zunjie was sitting. Her heart was filled with shock. She had never seen the free and easy Feng Zunjie reveal such a decisive emotion despite having trained under him for so many years. She clearly understood what the words that Feng Zunjie had uttered at this moment meant. If this matter was not resolved properly, they would likely become the enemies of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Although the Falling Star Pavilion was not afraid of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, the implications of these two large factions going to war would really be a little terrifying. Despite such a serious consequence, Feng Zunjie had spoken without hesitation because of something that Xiao Yan had given him. At this moment, even her little head involuntarily felt a little jealous. She suddenly recalled the words that Xiao Yan had said to her back in the Heaven Eye Mountain Range, a disciple of an old friend? Miu Qing Luan's narrowed eyebrows became vertical, and she felt a little lost. Although Feng Zunjie had many friends, their relationships were far from sufficient to reach the point where he did not hesitate to become enemies with the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Just who was this old friend? Miu Qing Luan was not the only one who had such thoughts. Almost everyone present, with the exception of Xiao Yan, was somewhat lost and shocked. A quiet atmosphere covered the entire sky. Even the churning clouds in the sky had slowly quietened at this moment. This atmosphere continued for a while before Lei Zunjie on the VIP seats finally recovered slowly. He turned his head and his eyes that contained a flicker of lightning locked onto Feng Zunjie while demanding in a deep voice, Feng Zunjie, what do you mean by this? It was likely that everyone could hear the little thread of anger contained in Lei Zunjie's voice. Feng Zunjie, we can discuss this nicely. Jian Zunjie was similarly stunned because of this. He had also not expected Feng Zunjie to step forward. Moreover, he had stood out in a manner where there was no turning back. Huang Quan Zunjie's eyes flickered. However, he did not speak. Instead, he was coldly laughing in his heart. Feng Zunjie had shut his eyes in front of a countless number of gazes. He finally opened his eyes again. The emotions within were hidden deep inside his heart. Not a single word was spoken. Instead, his sight stared straight into the air where Xiao Yan was standing. His voice was hoarse, you and he, what is your relationship? By being able to let an elite Dozun reveal such an emotional fluctuation, anyone could tell that the item Xiao Yan had tossed him earlier possessed an important meaning to him. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air as he looked at Feng Zunjie's old face. All the emotional fluctuation from earlier indicated that Yao Lao's eyesight was very good. Xiao Yan stood straight in the air. He respectfully bowed and cupped his hands to Feng Zunjie. His voice carried pride, teacher and disciple. Feng Zunjie slightly nodded. His body moved and appeared in front of Xiao Yan. There was kindness in the gaze, which he used to look at Xiao Yan. He softly said, This is the answer that I want to hear the most. However, you need to provide me with evidence. Xiao Yan smiled. He extended his hand and pointed to the fire seal on his forehead. After which, a tiny wisp of a dense white flame swiftly sprang onto the tip of his finger. Bone chilling flame. Feng Zunjie's eyes were startled when he saw the tiny dense white flame. He was not unfamiliar with this flame. Back then, if this flame had not been there when he was in a critical state, it was likely that the current Feng Zunjie would not. Feng Zunjie was naturally aware of the transfer of a heavenly flame. Moreover, with his eyesight, he could vaguely sense an extremely faint but familiar feeling that extended deep into his soul from the fire seal on Xiao Yan's forehead. Hence, 
he understood that this bone-chilling flame should be something that his old friend had voluntarily stored in Xiao Yan's body rather than something that he had taken through trickery. Moreover, all of this was strong evidence that could prove the relationship between Xiao Yan and Yao Lao. Feng Zunjie slowly raised his head as he inhaled a breath of air. His voice was hoarse as he said, Old fellow, you have made it difficult for me to find you all these years. Xiao Yan was quiet when he heard the little exultation and tiredness within Feng Zunjie's voice. It seemed that this good friend, whom teacher had spoken of, had continuously searched for traces of him all these years. One had not lived in vain if one had such a good friend. Although teacher had been wrong about Han Feng back then, at the very least, he had chosen the right person as a good friend. Feng Zunjie. Feng Zunjie waved his hand and softly laughed. You are his disciple. Please don't address me in this manner. The old me is called Feng Xiang. I shall not speak of my relationship with him in detail. If you do not mind, you can also consider the old me as your teacher in the future. With Feng Zunjie's status in the Central Plains, there was an incredible number of people who wanted to call him teacher. However, he had only accepted Mu Qing Luan as his disciple after all these years. Moreover, this was due to the relationship he had with her clan. It was the first time that he had ever asked someone to call him teacher. The disciple of an old friend greets old Feng. Xiao Yan was also not a foolish person. He naturally understood as hurriedly greeted him in a respectful manner. Feng Zun Jie heartily laughed and nodded. He said, leave the matter today to me. After saying this, he did not wait for Xiao Yan to say anything more. He turned around for the first time and his gaze was thrown onto the cold face of Lei Zun Jie. With a grin, he said, Lei Zun Jie, I can give in to you with regards to other matters today. However, the Wind Lightning Pavilion cannot touch Xiao Yan. This is a matter between the Wind Lightning Pavilion and him. If Feng Zun Jie insists on interfering, it will likely affect the relationship between our two pavilions. Lei Zun Jie looked deeply at Feng Zun Jie as he spoke. If anything happens to him today, the final result will be a war between the two pavilions. Feng Zun Jie replied. The decisiveness in his voice caused even Xiao Yan to tremble. Lei Zun Jie frowned. His hand also slowly tightened on the armrest of his chair. He did not expect the free and easy Feng Zun Jie to gain such a stern side with him today. Feng Zun Jie was the one who had been famous for the longest amount of time among the four pavilions. If they were to really discuss the hymn, his strength should be the greatest among the four Dozuns. Even Lei Zun Jie was a little afraid of him. The implication of a war between the two pavilions was far too great. Even with Lei Zun Jie's boldness, he did not dare to say it out loud, yet. Just what relationship does this person have with Feng Zun Jie? Why would Feng Zun Jie protect him with all his ability? Lei Zun Jie's eyes were clearly dark and solemn. However, these questions of his were something that everyone present wanted to know. Lei Zun Jie slowly inhaled a breath of air. His deep voice appeared to carry a thread of thunder as it resounded over the sky with a bang. Feng Zun Jie. Xiao Yan has secretly learned the 3000 lightning movement of my wind lightning pavilion, and has even obtained the training method to practice the 3000 lightning illusionary body. If this matter is set aside by just one word from you, how will my wind lightning pavilion do anything in the future? Feng Zun Jie's expression was like that of a rippleless well. Forget about this. Even if Xiao Yan was an extremely evil person, he would definitely not allow Xiao Yan to suffer any harm today. There was no reason for this other than that he was the disciple of that old fellow. Lei Zun Jie's words are too arbitrary. The 3000 lightning movement is merely something that the little me came across outside of the central plains. Its origins are from abroad. How can you say that I secretly learned it? If that is the case, would that not mean that anyone who practices those Do skills would all be seeking their own death? The 3000 Lightning Illusionary Body, on the other hand, has been taken back by the Northern Pavilion Chief. I think that he should be aware of this. Xiao Yan spoke in a deep voice. Fei Tian's face slightly sank. His eyes stared viciously at Xiao Yan. However, he did not dare to randomly attack this time around. Feng Zun Jie was beside Xiao Yan. If he dared to attack, his ending would likely not be good. Fei Tian was still quite afraid of an expert like Feng Zun Jie. Lei Zun Jie was non-committal to Xiao Yan's words. 
Currently, the one who was most troublesome to deal with was Feng Zun Jie. If he wanted to protect Xiao Yan, it was likely that the matter today would turn into a stiff one. This was not something he was happy to see. Regardless of who the victor was in a war between two pavilions, they would both suffer great losses. At that time, it would only allow others to benefit from their fight. Lei Zun Jie's finger gently tapped on his armrest before finally sighing. He faintly said, this matter is ultimately something that started between Xiao Yan and the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Why don't we do this? On account of Feng Zun Jie's face, this matter will be handed to Fei Tian. Regardless of who is the victor between them, this matter will come to an end. The both of us will not intervene in this matter. What do you say? Feng Zun Jie's eyes were lowered when he heard this. He glanced at Fei Tian below before immediately shaking his head and laughing. There is too large a gap between Fei Tian's and Xiao Yan's seniority. Bullying the weak and the young is not a good reputation. Lei Zun Jie's face also sank after he was rejected by Feng Zun Jie. He said, In that case, what does Feng Zun Jie want to do? Do you want my Wind Lightning Pavilion to do nothing and let Xiao Yan off? I will definitely not do such a thing. Let's all talk nicely. Why don't we do this? Fei Tian's seniority is indeed much greater than Xiao Yan's. It is not good to get him to fight. Why don't we get someone from the younger generation to do so? Jian Zun Jie smiled and piped up when he saw that the atmosphere was not quite right. Does Jian Zun Jie mean to get Qing Er and Xiao Yan to fight? Lei Zun Jie narrowed his eyes. However, his gaze turned to Feng Qing Er in the arena. Jian Zun Jie grinned and nodded. His eyes looked at Feng Qing Er with a deeper meaning and said, This little girl is also not an ordinary person. There is no need for Lei Zun Jie to conceal anything. Lei Zun Jie slightly frowned. He mused for a moment before immediately nodding. His eyes looked at Feng Zun Jie as he spoke in a deep voice. Since Feng Zun Jie thinks that Fei Tian is too senior, I will get Qing Er to fight. If Xiao Yan is defeated, he must promise not to use the 3000 lightning movement in the future. If Qing Er loses, the grudge between Xiao Yan and the Wind Lightning Pavilion will be settled. What do you say? Of course, the precondition to this exchange is the prohibition of using anyone else's spiritual strength. Lei Zun Jie glacked at Xiao Yan when he spoke until the end. It was likely that he was also aware that Xiao Yan possessed an exceptionally strong spiritual body on him. Feng Zun Jie hesitated for a moment when he heard this. He was similarly aware that Feng Qing Er was not an ordinary person. It was likely that even Qing Luan was no match for her among those of the same generation present. However, this situation was the limit the Wind Lightning Pavilion was willing to give in. If this failed, it was likely that there would not be anything left to discuss. While Feng Zun Jie was hesitating, Feng Qing Er at the edge of the arena gently shifted her feet as she entered the stage. Her pretty eyes turned to Xiao Yan. Her clear cool voice carried a haughtiness as it slowly sounded. Wind Lightning Pavilion's Feng Qing Er. Xiao Yan, do you dare accept this challenge? Xiao Yan's eyes immediately paused on Feng Qing Er's well proportioned, voluminous body. He smiled. A haughtiness surged out of his heart. He was naturally aware of the difficult situation Feng Zun Jie was facing. Moreover, he was Yao Lao's disciple no matter how one put it. At the very least, he could not cause his teacher to lose face in front of this old friend. I will accept your challenge. A loud clear laugh, filled with pride, sounded.